welcome or welcome back. My name is Sophie and I do videos about weight loss, infertility, and lifestyle or vlogs. Today is weigh-in five, which is crazy to me that we're already at weigh-in five. I feel like the weeks are going by so fast. I cannot believe that we've already gone through more than a month on this new weight loss journey that I've been on. It feels like just a couple of weeks and I'm really happy that I haven't wasted these past five weeks doing nothing and instead I've been focusing on my health because it's been going by so, so quickly and I feel like it's just gonna go quicker and quicker as the weeks go by. So before we get into the weigh-in, the measurements, and the before and after pictures, I did want to touch base on how the last week has been going for me, what goals I've accomplished, and which ones I haven't. So let's start with my calorie deficit. Everything went really well this week again. I don't think I went over at all, which is awesome. My goal in a week isn't to be perfect every single day, but I would say that this week it kind of was. I think the one thing that I can definitely work on are the amount of veggies and fruits that I do consume because that is on the lower side for sure. But otherwise, I did really well on my calorie deficit. I stayed on track and I'm really happy that I did. Calorie deficit is just working really, really well for me and I don't really see myself getting off of that for the time being. Again, like I said last week, I'd love to try new things, but I'm just not ready because this is working so well for me. I think maybe once I hit like a plateau or something, that's when I'll try and shift things around and see what I can do for food. But for right now, I'm sticking with it. In terms of exercising, this is where I fail every single week and I can't say that I haven't failed this week. I've definitely failed again. I really wanted to talk about this because some people might relate, but I really started thinking this week about why I keep failing at my workout goals. Working out compared to eating healthy is a whole different thing for me because if I eat healthy or if I eat poorly, it takes the same amount of time to do either one. Whereas with working out, if I don't work out, I save time. And if I do work out, I'm using some of my time to work out. And I'm like, okay, but that's not a big deal. I just have to make time. But that's not how my brain works. And I've realized this week that it's all about priorities. And for now, working out is not a priority for me. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, it's so good for your health. Like moving is important. You need to move to be healthy. I get that, I totally get that. I'm not saying that I'm not moving. I'm just saying that I'm not going to the gym. <laughs> I am moving, I'm walking every day, especially at work, and I do plan on keeping that up. But in terms of working out, here's where my priorities are. So in my area with COVID and everything, we have been on lockdown a couple of times, but right now we are not on lockdown and we're able to see our closest family and friends. We do have like a limit of people that we can see, but we are able to socialize and see friends and family. And although my area is doing really well, just a couple of hours away, they're not doing so well. So I don't know when we'll go back into lockdown if or when, you know? And the fact that there is a possibility in two weeks or a month that I won't be able to see friends and family really stresses to me that I am prioritizing friends and family and socializing. And that's kind of why I don't have as much time to go to the gym than I did two or three months ago when we were in lockdown. So for an example, let's think about this weekend, this weekend that I'm living right now because I want to explain why I don't really have time to go to the gym or why I'm not prioritizing time at the gym. Usually in the past, we would definitely go to the gym like Saturday and Sunday because those are the days we have the most time. We're not working or anything. And we used to do that on Saturday and Sundays. So let's look at how we're prioritizing our weekends. So on Friday night, for example, my sister and her boyfriend came over. We played games all night literally no time at all to go to the gym. They came over right after supper. We had been working all day. Saturday, <laughs> Saturday morning, we're sleeping in a little bit. I mean, I only sleep in till like 8 a.m. We're doing chores, we're doing groceries, we're cleaning the house, that's included in the chores, I guess. And then we're hanging out with our friends all afternoon and all night. So that takes up our entire day. On Sunday, for example, we wake up, we have brunch at my in-laws, then we stop at my dad's, 
And then we have a game day and a barbecue with my mom and my sister and her boyfriend. So basically our entire weekends are dedicated to our friends and family. And I think for right now, that's okay. So if I don't find time to go to the gym or I don't prioritize time to go to the gym during the weekends for right now, I'm accepting that. I really need to accept that it's not a priority for right, for me right now because if I keep saying like, I can do this, I can make time and then I don't make time, like I just need to accept that I'm not gonna make time. Like it's just not on my mind right now. My general goal for the past week was to spend time outdoors and also do some more yard work. Now, I had not looked at the forecast and it rained all week. <laughs> so we didn't actually have sun or warm days where I could have done that. And it sucks because I really wanted to do that. That's the thing with Canadian weather. Uh, we had really, really nice weather a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna spend some time outdoors. I'm gonna keep doing yard work. I'm gonna be productive outside and then it rained all week. Like you just never know. So that was also a fail. So this week I only accomplished one out of my three goals, but that's all right, it's fine. So let's get into the weigh-in and the measurements and the pictures. So last week I weighed in at 252. And this week, as you can see on the scale, I weighed in at 249.8. So I lost a total of 2.2 pounds this week, which is amazing considering that last week I lost three pounds and the week before that I think I lost like 3.2 pounds or a little bit more than three pounds. The fact that I'm losing so much still is honestly mind-boggling to me and kind of reiterates the fact that I was eating so much shit in the past. Like if I'm losing that quickly because I'm eating healthy, it probably means that I was eating so poorly before. But I'm really happy with that number and I was actually quite surprised on the scale this morning because you know, sometimes you wake up in the morning and you feel really light. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna weigh a lot today. Like you can feel how light you are. Well, this morning I actually woke up and I felt very heavy and it was like hard for me to get out of bed. And usually when I feel that way, it is because I'm weighing a little bit more, like I, I'm retaining water, whatever it is, but I can usually feel it in the morning when I get up. So I was a little shocked to see 2.2 pounds lost this week, but incredibly happy with that number. Let's look at the measurements. So this week was kind of a weird week in terms of measurements. And I think my measurements to me are strange because I'm not working out. Like I'm not focusing on any part of my body and moving my body that much. Like I'm doing a lot of low impact. So I feel like that's why the measurements are always a little strange. So let's look at them. I did not lose in a lot of areas. The only place I lost was in my waist. I also lost in my left leg and in my stomach. And then I actually gained in my chest area. And I feel like it might just be like where I'm at with my cycle because I think that like us women, like our boobs just like get bigger and then smaller and bigger and smaller depending on where you're at in your cycle. So I'm assuming that's what that is but I was still kind of surprised to see that my boobs had grown an inch in just a week. So those are my measurements. Let's get into the pictures and compare. And here is the video. So now that we've talked about the past week, we've looked at all the numbers, let's get into my goals for the upcoming week. So I think you guys know that based on what I said previously, I am going to be doing a calorie deficit still this week. I actually have already planned some of my days because I do like doing that and knowing far in advance what I'm going to be eating every day. So I definitely will be following my calorie deficit. In terms of my workouts, I'm just gonna give myself the goal to go on three walks with my dog this week and I'm not gonna give myself the goal to go to the gym at all because it's just not a priority right now. So those are two out of my three goals. 
My general goal this week is going to be a financial one. I don't want to spend any money on anything that is unnecessary. So that can be anything from like extra snacks to, to like hair clips and all those kinds of things, clothes, whatever. I just want to spend it on like groceries, gas, things that are essential. I want to see if I can save a little bit of money this week. So that is my general goal. So that's it for weigh in number five. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope your journeys are going really well. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like. If you like these types of videos, if you wanna follow me on my weight loss journey, my infertility journey, or watch some of my vlogs, make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.